Hello. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about some things you should or shouldn't do in the Frame Story project file. The first thing I want to talk about is the folders in the project panel. You shouldn't move, delete, or rename those folders. Of course, you can create new ones, but not within those folders. The second thing is not to remove compositions that you are currently using from the My Created Assets folders. This is where the script looks to know which compositions you are currently using. For characters and scenes, there is a delete button inside the script's UI. The rest you can delete by selecting them and pressing the delete button on your keyboard. One other thing I want to mention is this code right here in the comments section, next to every created character composition. You shouldn't edit or delete this text because it's vital for the script to function properly. As I said in previous tutorials, most of the frame story elements are editable. That's because for every element that you select, the script creates a fresh copy of that composition. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is nested comps within those compositions. That's a rare case, but if you encounter a nested comp, you can copy that nested comp and replace it within that composition. Let me quickly show you how it's done. Let's find a gesture. I'll select this. Let's open it up. We see this nested comp. We right click on it, go to reveal, and then reveal layer source in project. After Effects revealed us the composition in the project panel. We select it and press Ctrl D. Now, while having both of the comps selected, we press Alt and drag the composition on top of the other. Voila! Now, we have a brand new nested comp that we can edit however we like, without messing with the original one. I hope you found this tutorial useful and will create amazing videos using the Frame Story Kit. Thank you for watching.